Hello and welcome to this episode of Success Synergy Show. I am Meena Dayal. I have uh, James Payment with me uh, from New Zealand. Today he is the sports coach of all sports coaches because he is the fielding coach of uh, the winning IPL team of Mumbai Indians 2020. And it's just wonderful to have James with us. He is joining us from New Zealand. James is actually a performance coach and he is a specialist in fielding. And uh, we all know how important fielding is in cricket. But more than that, we are interested in understanding from James about the leadership, mental resilience and teamwork. Because being a business coach myself, I have always been interested in knowing the secrets that are known to the sports coaches, which the business world seems to be constantly struggling to find out. Welcome to the show, James. It's my honor to have you here. It's just fantastic to have you here. And congratulations on the great victory you've had just a while back. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, was, it was, it was a great was victory. A great victory and and very rewarding for all that was in behind the scenes, scene, obviously, as well as, as well as the looking out onto the field, over the field and to the, to the, the level. To the level. Uh, but, uh, it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to, be to be able to share, I guess, some, share, of, my some of my experiences and, and one or two of my principles with, with, with you, with you, to try and assist, to try and assist with anybody from the anybody business, from the business world, world listening, in. listening in. Oh, thank you so much, James. I know a lot of people will benefit from this. Uh, episode of uh, Success Energy Show because uh, you know right now we are not marketing it too well in fact we have, haven't marketed it at all but uh, I'm focusing on creating great content and that great content I'm sure is going to benefit a lot of people in the times to come and like I said uh, see uh, my family is crazy about cricket and uh, like I was telling you a while back the day a cricket match happens, nothing nothing moves over here. Everything comes to a standstill. But right from my childhood, I have been watching the game of cricket from the angle of mental resilience, teamwork and leadership. And I was so small at that time, I wasn't even knowing these terminologies. But now when I think back, I mean 20 years back or 25 years back, I know that what I was looking for on the game was how the people are coordinating with each other. How can they save something, you know, even if it is like a catch or something, uh, how that coordination is happening, how are they sustaining themselves for five days? Five days is a long time and we used to have test matches in those days. So, you know, although I did not understand the terminology of leadership, mental resilience and teamwork at that time, when I look back, I see cricket as a game of leadership, mental resilience and teamwork, which I understand so well, or I'm trying to understand now from the business angle. So that's what our, uh, you know, conversation is going to center on today, like we discussed the other day. I want to understand from you the resilience element and the toughness element. You know, resilience is perhaps a more pertinent term to the business uh, terminology and mental toughness is more important in the sports ground because there you are totally focused on creating results instantaneously. There is no way anybody can miss a chance on the sports field. So tell us James of maybe some examples, some stories that you have where mental toughness may have saved the game or yeah absolutely. yeah, absolutely. And I think, yeah, and I think touching on your touching point, on your there, point as you, there as you, you outlined your own experience, your own experience around, around watching cricket, cricket almost second hand. And uh, 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 I, guess I guess 20 years 20 ago, years this ago, much cricket, much cricket was the ultimate, was the ultimate. Uh, in terms of everybody was aspiring to be a test match cricketer. cricketer. And, and I'm sure and that I'm sure many players nowadays want to test themselves in the test arena. But certainly, but certainly more common in the shorter forms of the game, of the game. And, mm. and in particular, in particular 2020, 2020 cricket. Maybe that's, that's a reflection of reality, reality today, today 
in relation, in relation to, to how the society was, was maybe 15, 15 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 30, 40 years, ago. years ago. Right. How we, how we, we need everything we need instantly, instantly these, days. these days. Yes. Uh, we look at the, the social media and everything and in general. Everything in general. We, we, it's on the end of our fingertips. But maybe but in, maybe the past, in the past, you know, we, you know, we were prepared we were to be patient. patient. It's certainly it's test cricket, test cricket, the game of patience. Patient. Uh, uh, I guess in I guess relation, in relation to, your, to, your, to your question, to your question that you asked about resilience, resilience and, and some examples, some examples of, of, of resilience, resilience and, and, and we win in the game, in the game. There's, just, there's just nearly every 2020 20 game that he's played, 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 there's some great there's examples, some great examples of, of resilience. resilience uh, Awareness, awareness, winning games, winning of, games cricket. of cricket, we can reflect, we can reflect on, on, on the performances with the recent, the recent IPL. IPL, and, and games the won generally in the last Elva, and that mm -hmm. takes, and that great, takes calmness, great calmness, calmness takes great, takes presence, great of presence of mind, mind and it takes and great, belief great belief in, belief in an individual's ability or partnership. So you think about maybe Kieran and Pollard, Finishing off finishing the game, off the game. Hardy Kanye finishing off the game. Finishing off the game. Surya Kumayada finished the game. Finish the game. Uh, uh, so many ones you can reflect, can reflect on. The story was, was we played against, we played against Delhi. Delhi. I think it was, think it was round, round ten or ten, and he had a great had opportunity to finish the game for us. And he got out. He got out. We ultimately went on the game. He didn't finish it for us. The next the opportunity, next opportunity he, he got he in that got very same position, position was against the maybe two or maybe three, two rounds, or three later, rounds later, and he made sure he, he finished sure the, he game finished the game for it. So hmm. I think, you so know, resilience is about learning from previous experiences. Previous experiences. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes they can be they can mistakes that you make, or sometimes they can be an instance where you reflect on you've done it better. So it doesn't have to be a mistake. But I think that but reflection, think that reflection leads, to leads to learning, to learning. and then ultimately, and then ultimately you, cricket, you want to deal with your players, 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 you people talk about pressure all the time, but pressure is just expectation for us, expectation that all players will win that moment to allow us to go on and be successful in the game. But it's, but it's about, about breaking, breaking that down, that down. It's something, it's that, something, you something that you can manage and manage, manage. It's something that something you can deliver can physically. Deliver physically. Uh, true, true. Uh, very routines, true. routines and all the experience and all the practice that's been going, going, on, going on to allow a to player allow to be in, player that to in that position should come to should the come floor, to the floor in, your mind. in your mind. True, very if true. you're not clear in your mind, if you're allowing too many external things to come in, cloud your decision making, that's when we, That's talk, when about we talk about execution. execution. If execution yeah. is not accurate, not accurate, then either the then either routines have been clear, clear, or you've or allowed, you've allowed something, something to cloud your to judgment. Cloud your judgment. Uh, like I say, there's so many experiences that we've had, and opportunities that we could talk about, where a game is generally won through resilience. Resilience, toughness, yes. Absolutely. You know, James, I... Like I said, uh, I mean, watching cricket from the angle of test and test cricket in 2020 is uh, a lot of criticism has happened. But you know, fast pace of today's life has resulted in different business models, in different compact uh, result oriented uh, orientation of everything. Like, like you said, like social media, we want instant results. True, very true. Why not? And why not? Uh, why shouldn't we want? instant results. You know, the, the question today is, uh, that haunts everybody, is uh, uh, perhaps people want instant results so they are changing the flavor of things and changing the format of things. That's all right. But human evolution is something which is a constant process. It just does not stop at any point in time. In today's world, we want instant results and there is nothing wrong according to me. There's absolutely nothing wrong in <laughs> being able to produce instant results. Yeah. In fact, I personally feel that the resilience and the toughness element that used to uh, be there in somebody when they had a span of five days to perform and when they have a span of just 20 overs to perform, it has increased many times, many times, un 
unexpected rise in the level of performance and the level of pressure has happened and only the best of the best can survive now because this new format demands a lot of um, different kind of result from them in a shorter time span and that's productivity if somebody is able to produce a result and i'm not talking about great cricketers over here i'm not even talking about business uh, business leaders i'm talking up from a general standpoint that if somebody is able to do a task in 5 hours with a certain level of performance certain level of efficiency certain level of output of results and another person is able to perform the same task with similar or higher level of efficiency productivity and everything better outcome in a lesser time span who would you consider to be more productive i mean that's a general question i throw at yeah. in my yeah. seminars also <laughs> and then who do you think has better levels of leadership qualities teamwork mental toughness mental resilience and teamwork uh, you know uh, amongst the two yeah. performers yeah. i I, w- i would suggest the the second person has evolved better going from the standpoint of uh, whatever is happening around us we can't change the environment all the time we have to go with the flow and today's work environment with remote working and all those things you know i see corporate people working 24 hours a day they are producing with with work from home uh, kind of a situation now being like a fixed thing it's it's turned into a 24 hour uh, uh, work situation for most of them business world is working 24 um, no, hours a day well, with the technology i'm not sure, I'm not sure how long they last <laughs> True. That's true. They need you know, you get the, the, a nice the, balance in your life. You are, you are, you know, the most, the most uh, attentive, attentive and productive, productive executive, yes. or whatever you are. You are. You, you spend the line in the cycle. You're spending now, but in now, twenty-five, twenty-four hours. Yes, but people are doing it. They are, they are wearing themselves out. But you know, I am looking at it from another angle. That this is perhaps where the human evolution is taking us today. so we will have to evolve new patterns of sleep and rest and work life balance in order to be able to subject ourselves to the demands of the new world that we have started living in all of a sudden yeah 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 the so perhaps it will be something for human beings i think we're very, good at, very good at adapting we are good at adapting uh, we have been adapting all along yeah we <laughs> yeah, just you know we some fantastic, some fantastic things, things throughout throughout the town the time of man of man uh, uh, and the next and generation the next generation will will change that that, that, that uh, it is a, yes. it is a, an ongoing, an ongoing activity, activity isn't it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. absolutely absolutely yeah. it's an ongoing activity and you know uh, in this particular show we will be using mental toughness and mental resilience kind of as synonyms but i know they are distinctly different uh areas of activity of the mind but uh, for the general understanding of the people we will be using those two terminologies as synonyms and they are close to each other yeah. they may be apart oh, also but they are close to each other also so see in your opinion on a sports ground how does mental toughness translate into good leadership Uh, uh, I think, well, I think the most important, the most important thing, thing about leadership, leadership especially, especially in this in generation, this generation is, that is that they're prepared to engage, to engage with, everybody with everybody in the group. In the, group. Hmm. So the leader, the leader is, no is no longer a taker. taker. Previously, Previously you know, and you know, certainly I can, so remember, I can when remember when I was coming I was through the grades and running the game, the game that either the, the coach or the captain, captain was very dictatorial, was very dictatorial. And, and, yeah. and what they what said they said was what you had to try and deliver and deliver and if you couldn't if you deliver, couldn't on, deliver it, on it then you know 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it's important that you know everybody you know, feels, everybody feels like, their like their leaders within the group. Ultimately, ultimately there is, is now leaders, leaders 
got to make decisions. Got to make decisions. But, uh, but uh, everybody, everybody in between these days, days their voice their their voice their value. value. Right. So that for so me that is, for the, me is the, the strongly sharp leadership. leadership. Is that the, the leaders are leaders empathetic, are empathetic to, to fellow, fellow members, of the, members group. of the group, and they make and them, they feel, make value. them feel value. Okay. Uh, see, uh, empathy is talked about quite a lot. I know you are having an uh, echo-related uh, problem, which yeah. is like yeah. Yeah. hearing okay. your own okay. voice. It's very distracting. Uh, but uh, you know, this this is where the technology is going. We, technology is also evolving. I mean, we're sitting halfway across the world. We are able to talk and stream live on many different social media platforms. That's good enough. And sometimes internet is a little uncomfortable. So kindly bear with us and just... Um, yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Uh-huh. See, uh, uh, what, what you were saying about empathy, I understand that. But in a game of cricket where, uh, especially in a 2020 kind of situation, and with IPL, which has a lot of uh, uh, money riding on it, Now, some people are saying there is an echo, but really can't do anything about it. So, see, why, uh, as, as you are talking about empathy, do you think within a short span of like a 2020 match, players can actually empathize with each other? Uh, uh, leaders yeah, can well, actually understand enough. Enough. I think I think the most the important, important thing, thing is. Thing is the creation, the creation of, your of your environment, environment hmm. the culture, the culture of, your of your environment, the people who are people involved, who are into involved your into your environment, and from there, from the, there leaders the leaders establish, establish I guess, a vision, guess a vision for everybody, for everybody to, follow. to follow. And once and that's once in that's place, place and it's understood, understood, understood and everybody, everybody shared their, their, value, their value with the group with the values, 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 then that, then that when empathy can come in. That's when that understanding comes in. Around what around performance, what performance looks like, looks like. Uh, uh, you, know, you know, from a leadership, from a leadership point, of point of view, I guess the strongest, guess the strongest thing, thing is you want some talent, talent in that leader. That leader. You know, you, you, know you, want, you want your other want people, your other people to, have to have confidence in times, times of, I guess, pressure, I guess pressure or, challenge, or challenge to look at your leaders, look at your leaders and, go, and go, they're calm, they're, calm, they're, organized, they're organized, they're disciplined, they've earned the right to be successful, so we can follow them. Right. So, and I think so, that's and I think that's where that empathy, empathy comes in, in where, the where the leaders take time, take time to, understand to understand where each individual, where each individual is, coming is coming from. If you've got a very experienced experience, like, like we have, we have like, 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 we've got probably, we've got probably six, six, seven or eight of those type of players, players in our team. In our team. Hmm. And they look and at each other and they have strong belief in each other. Whereas if you've got a team where perhaps you've only got three leaders with that same confidence and control of their games, then that's and where you get a little bit more inconsistency in your performance. performance. And, yeah. and when those when guys those look, guys at, each look other, at each other, they probably they haven't got the same amount of belief. <laughs> so I think no, that's, I think that's, that's where the empathy comes in, comes in and where each individual is at. And I guess understanding, guess understanding how you can how make them better through the experiences that they have. So you're not really looking to change personalities. You're just looking, You're just to, looking shape to shape personalities, personalities and enhance, and enhance, and enhance and performance, performance through, uh, through, through being the really. Right. really. Right. Uh, James, one more question is coming to me and that is about uh, uh, cross-cultural interactions and cross-cultural uh, connections which an IPL team is uh, actually known yeah. for. Yeah. And much, today much, we, are, we are working remotely. And not just today, you know, a, a person like me, I've been working remotely all my life. You know, um, all my business coaching has been uh, done internationally for the last 10 years. And I've been using uh, uh, Zoom and teleconferencing tools like Zoom for a very long time now. <laughs> I mean, Zoom has become very mm-hmm. popular this year itself after after COVID hit us. But uh, even, uh, I mean, I've been using Zoom for the last eight years or more than that. Now. In a cross-cultural environment, from the business standpoint, I see that people may look different, they may speak different languages, they may come from different cultural backgrounds, but they are just the same at the emotional levels. Do you also see the same kind of situation? I'm sure you must be uh, 
yeah. in the yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, ultimately, I mean, ultimately, you know, we, we're talking about, we're talking about I guess, an IPL background, background that, that, I'm that I'm speaking from, from. Yeah. And, and it is very it is very performance orientated. orientated. You, you see all the you time, all the if the team is not doing well, they change they personnel, change personnel, they change coaches, they change management, and they start again. For me, for me, the most the most impact, impact I can I can call the call. Me personally, me personally it's it's relationship. Relationship. Hmm. I need time, I need time to, establish to establish a relationship with players, players who understand, who understand where, they're where they're coming from, coming from to maybe even to learn from them a little, from bit, a little as well, bit as well, in order, in order to, be to be effective. Sometimes, Sometimes in IPL, you don't get that chance. Hmm. You don't get the you time, you don't get the chance to establish that relationship. relationship. No. So it's, so it's, always, it's a, always a fine balance, balance you know. Yeah, but, yeah, for, me, but for me, the relationship, the relationship is so important. important. If you want to be an effective coach. And, 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 and I guess that's guess where the cultural aspect comes, comes in. in. Because, because you know, my you experience over three years working in IPL and working with Indian players in particular, uh, uh, as the, the, coaches, the coaches, the managers, the managers very much, very held, much up held up as the leaders. As the leaders. Hmm. Whereas, Whereas where I come, where from, I come from, in terms of my terms coaching of my in, New Zealand, in New Zealand, we're very much, we're on, very the much on the same level. Nobody's, Nobody's ever called, ever me, called me, me in New Zealand when I'm coaching them. them. <laughs> Yeah, whereas, whereas still got boys who are getting paid way more than I'm getting paid, calling me sir. <laughs> I said I should I be said, calling, I should you, be calling sir. you, sir. <laughs> that's that's interesting. That's a very interesting piece that's of just, that's, that's just, just the that's cultural aspect, aspect that you have to you have down, break down hmm. to form to a form relationship, relationship on an equal footing. Mm-hmm. And, and hopefully, and after I've been able to do that, I'll be able to do that in one body. Of course, you've been able to do that. Otherwise, the results wouldn't have been this good. So yeah. I'm not <laughs> so responsible so for all the results. True, yeah. that's true. I think I've played, I think a, small I've played a small part. No, I see, humble people never take the full responsibility, and we appreciate that. That is the element, greatest element of leadership. That uh, the responsibility of uh, winning or losing is shared, or rather, responsibility of winning is shared and losing is taken upon one's own self. So yeah. that's yeah. that's a great point of leadership in any case. See, uh, it's. Tell me how much how much the language has uh, been a barrier when it comes to cross cultural differentiation of this yeah. kind. Yeah. Working with a team with. Yeah. It, it is a it challenge. Is a challenge. Yeah, there is, yeah, there is. I mean, we, I mean we, generally when you're when you're out on the grass, on the grass you speak the you speak language, the of language physical physical movement. movement. Hmm. And you can demonstrate, and you can demonstrate things, things around techniques, around techniques and you can talk and you can around positions and things like that and with, like your, that hands with your hands and just with, with movement. But just being but able, just to, being able to emphasize the point, point. obviously, obviously I, I don't speak I don't Hindi or I don't speak Marathi or, 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 or any other language, unfortunately, I don't want to do it. But you generally find that, you know, most of the guys speak reasonable, 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 reasonable English, and some of them speak out Spanish English. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually in, awe in awe of some of the guys of just how they communicate, they communicate both effectively in English and their second language. Second language. Uh, uh, I think that's a big standard. And quite often, quite often, they'll do the interpreting for me if I need to stress a point with a player who doesn't speak very good English. So I want to get the effort. So language has never been a barrier. You know, language has never been a barrier for me also. I've been connecting with people from all over the world. Some speak very good English, some don't. English is generally, I consider it to be a kind of a global language, which yeah, yeah. is generally understood in most parts of the world. Or at least you can find somebody who understands uh, English. So yeah, yeah, at, general. at the emotional core, how do you translate leadership and teamwork Across cultural, you know, shocking yeah, cultural yeah, differences. For me, it's, for me, it's, for me individually, for me individually it's, about it's about personality. personality. You know, it's you about know, trying to impart my personality, my personality on, the on the group and on the and individuals, on the individuals that, that I get to work with. But it's but showing, it's them, showing them, you know, I guess, uh, I guess uh, uh, energy. energy. Hmm. Uh, uh, hard work, hard work honesty, honesty, humor. humor 
uh, uh, sure that sure I'm calm and I'm knowledgeable, knowledgeable and I'm well organized and well planned. Well planned. And that, you and know, that, each you know, individual, each individual, I've got a real, got a real, real role, for them, role for them within the team. Within the team. And if I can show that, that, then straight away, straight away you get a little bit of trust, trust that this guy knows what he's talking about. about. This guy mm -hmm. wants, this guy to, help wants to help him get better. Right. And he's here and for, he's the, good here the, for the good of the team. That's and generally, if you do that, and generally, if you do that in a working environment, then you straight away create followers. I know I want to quickly, quickly put those followers, those followers alongside, alongside me, me not not underneath, underneath me. Right. Because right. I can't go out and perform. I'm just, I'm just, trying, to just trying to shape the form and find the guy for performance. performance. Ultimately, Ultimately, my days are gone where I can do what I can do performing. Right. See, I, I understand this is a distinct difference between sports coaching and business coaching because uh, while business coaches are also like outside consultants mostly to the organization uh, most of them are performing in their own fields also you know side by side and uh, as uh, second thing is that uh, within a team within a business team also with some people are acting as coaches to the other people they are also performing side by side or rather simultaneously so perhaps the pressure is uh, a little of a different kind and proper goal orientation takes a longer duration of time for happen if at all it happens yeah. at, at times because yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that because I've, because I've, I've run a business in commercial, commercial sector, sector. Mm -hmm. and it's very and hard it's very and when you step, when you outside, step outside and, and I guess I guess try and work, try on, work the business, on the business rather than try and work in the business then straight then away straight productivity, away, productivity drops because hmm. you're not standing, you're not there, standing there on them. Them. Encourage you them, them, them. them. You have to find, you have other, to find ways other ways of doing that. that. Right. And that generally, and that comes, generally back comes back to leadership, to leadership in terms of who you appoint to replace, to replace you, you now that you've now stepped, you've stepped out, out. You know, you, know, mm. you might be looking might for be looking more work, or you might be forging relationships with potential customers. But it's very hard to replicate. So you have to be very strategic about how you do that. Right. And once again, it comes back to getting gold for individuals. It's about making about sure making that there's sure a purpose, purpose for each individual, individual, whether they're a whether junior, they're a junior or, an or an employee floor, floor, or whether it's or whether your it's two IC, IC who's, you know, is right up behind you. So, so it's very important that everybody has a purpose within the team, within, within, the, within the business. They feel valued, they feel valued and they're all celebrated. Yes, and it is harder to achieve the business than you in the room. Does a, does a brilliant job, and when you've ever, you've ever seen, ever seen you've, got you've got to reward that. Yes. And if you yeah. don't if acknowledge, you don't that, acknowledge that, that, then he'll stop, stop doing, doing the work. Doing this as well as what he's done. Right, right, right. See, see uh, now that we have started talking about this, uh, you know, same or similar strategies for uh, a sports world for the sports world and for the business world may or may not work because in on a sports team you know everybody is very goal oriented and is working towards a common purpose and it is easily established because they are there for that particular purpose but in a business environment people may have their own personal agenda also uh, it could not be uh, I'm not I'm not suggesting that it is a negative agenda but what I'm saying is that Probably the personal agenda sometimes take over the team's agenda also. And uh, uh, just because people want to be on a proving curve, they may end up hampering the team more rather than uh, supporting the team. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Leadership I mean, yeah, I mean, correct, there. correct there. And certainly, and in, certainly the in the sporting environment, 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 if the if team the culture, team culture promotes, promotes the team first team environment, first environment if you have if individuals, you have individuals like, that, like that and you can't you change, can't their, change behaviors, their behaviors, then there's a phrase then there's a that phrase says, if you, says, can't, if you change can't change the man, change the man. Change the man. Hmm. So, hmm. Quite, so quite quickly those people, those people get, get exposed. Yes. And if it's a, and strong, if it's a strong culture, culture they'll, find they'll find themselves on the outside. On the outside. Hmm. But hopefully, but hopefully you know, those, you know, individual those individuals can be shaped into team players. And I guess the IPL is a... The three-year three annual, year annual uh, I guess, uh, auction. I guess auction. Uh, every, three uh, every three years, basically, basically you build a new, you build team. A new team. Hmm. 
but you might have, you a, might tour have a tour group, group or retained players, players and players, and players, players that you've kept, kept in your squad. squad. But predominantly, but there's, there's a large number of changes, changes but very quickly, quickly you have to you be strategic, strategic proficient, proficient bringing that, bringing group, that together group together and sharing and that, share culture that culture that either been established over a long period of time, period of time with their mind, or maybe with, or maybe some, with the other, some of the other, they're still they're trying still to sort out what sort that, that culture, that culture looks, looks like. Right. So it is all mm. performance yeah. oriented. I mean, you have to be performing. Uh, it's about winning. It's about winning. It's about winning. Ultimately, it's about, about winning. winning. About winning. Mm. But you can't but do you that can't with do a group that of individual. individual. Mm. Very rarely, very rarely, you can. You can. can. You can. But very it's rarely, 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 yes. rarely, 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 a team, of, team champions of champions win a long, win a long tournament. tournament. Right. Champion, champion team generally, team generally comes, through. comes through. Right. So I, I think, I think this is this is what I was looking for when I say the sports coaches have known for years about teamwork, some secrets which the business world is still struggling to find many times. And I think this is this is that personal agenda and per personal performance orientation which is all for winning. In the business world it is really rare to find a, or create a team which is completely all for winning. Like if it, you can create it at the top levels, then probably you don't find that trickling down in the lower levels of the organization. And this is this is the secret. This is this is the major secret sauce, <laughs> if you can yeah, call look it. Yeah, I've never worked for a large corporation. corporation. Mm. I look at I, look I guess, at, I guess my Indian by the Reliance Group. The Reliance group. Mm. And, and really, I've really got no one who's and no reliance to go about their operations and other organizations with lots of different, different fields field of expertise, of expertise. From, communication from communication to retail, to retail and oil, oil, oil and gas. And, gas. and I'm, sure yes. I'm sure they have a massive, have a massive you know, you know, base of employees. Base of employees. Uh, yes, that would be a, an be example we would need to look at in terms, terms of how do they, how do they go about their business, their business in relation, in relation to, how they to how they manage Mumbai Indians. Mumbai Indians. I'm sure I'm it's sure not very different. Not very different. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know I wouldn't because, know because I've never worked with them. Hmm. So the Reliance the Corporation, Corporation uh, uh, I would have thought about if we could if a mirror, mirror what happens in a team sporting environment that they could quite quickly have some success. See, I'm getting a lot of comments from different people here and uh, uh, not many questions. This is... Uh, uh, Hopefully they're positive, they're positive uh, there, there are po positive comments, but uh, I, I'll put one here on the screen. This is from Deepak Chakravarti. So why the human brain's goal-seeking device be it that of a sports person, businessman or a common man? Well, he is generalizing too much, I feel. Because not no, every no, 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 it's I mean, important that you have targets in front of you. Because how, because how, you, how are you going to measure your progress? progress? True. I mean, every, everybody, I mean, every, everybody is seeking progress. progress. Ideally, Ideally now, learning, now learning, learning, I feel, learning, I feel, I feel is, is, is a massive, is a massive part, part of, of mental, of mental resilience. Of resilience. Uh, uh, so, yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. See, it is true up to a certain extent, James. I would I would say that it is true up to a certain extent because not everybody is goal seeking. Um, not everybody, not every human being is a goal seeking uh, orientation kind of a person. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, it should well, be. I mean, it's well, an well, idealistic it's, state. It's, it's, it's it's a goal, 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 isn't it? No, no, you can set goals. Goal, goal, you can work goal, towards goal, achieving those achieving goals. Goal, if you don't want to set goals. Hmm. I think it's I think just, it's just you're going to get constant feedback around how are you progressing or are you just flatlining flat or are you dropping away. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. His, his yeah. Second, yeah. Uh, second comment is business teams are almost as effective as sports teams. So implying that uh, sports teams are more is not fair. Uh, well, we, uh, we are certainly not implying that one is more than the other, Deepak. The, I, I think uh, this, is, this is not uh, what the whole agenda point over here is. The idea is yeah, to oh, make the best and great example of the sporting teams be very ineffective. Very ineffective. <laughs> so, see, it's, it's not about our implying that one is better than the other. What I'm simply saying is 
that I know for sure that sports coaches have known some additional elements about leadership, teamwork and mental resilience and mental toughness, which the business world is still struggling to find out. Because of one point which we touched a little while back, that uh, the goal of attaining a certain peak performance is very clear in a sports team, whereas the goal may have a differentiated uh, ideology when it comes to the business team. Different people will have, may have, or rather, in, uh, more often than not, they do have different agenda points, which may or may not exactly congregate with the business school, ultimate business school. Many of the, uh, you see, uh, at mid-level, uh, I mean, if you, if you watch, uh, the mid-level executives are not even aware of what the whole agenda point really is. Mm. Why is the business progressing in a certain direction? Why are they being made to do a certain task? Most of the mid-level uh, and the leave alone the lower level, but even mid-level executives are unaware of the final agenda point. And that's mm. something which uh, creates discrepancy. We are not saying one is better than the other. It is not a debate. <laughs> we are just discussing yeah. something. Uh, in that situation, you're explaining there. there. For me, for straight, straight away, straight away there, was there, was there, was there a clear lack, a clear of, lack vision. of vision. Hmm. Well, ultimately, well, ultimately, for us, we, we know what we our know vision, what vision looks like. like. Our vision, our vision is, to, is win to win the IPL, IPL. but that's, easy, but that's to say. easy to say. You have to you break, have to that, break down that down into different compartments, into different compartments. Yes. and then turn and then it into day-to-day -day -day work. Day work. Hmm. So from, so day, from one day one of, of I guess, pre tournament pre -tournament preparation, preparation, and even before, and even before that, before when you're selecting your squad, you build into that ultimate vision. vision. Right. And then there's and little key points where you stop, and reassess, and reassess or assess how you're going on, on, and then talk and then about talk changes about that you need to make in order to in keep order striving to keep for, that for that ultimate vision, vision ultimate goal. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, you've got your day-to-day behaviour, day-to-day value, which hopefully are underpinning the achievement, the achievement of, that of that vision. And everybody, everybody will sit together, together at the start of an IPL and we want to win the IPL. Yes. All eight, yes. Franchises, All eight franchises, will franchises will do that. But how you but break how that you down to work is, I guess, is, the, I quality guess the quality of, of your, organization. your organization. Yes. The, the science and art may be different at different levels, but yeah. the vision yeah, is absolutely. definitely clear. Whereas yeah. in the business yeah. world, the vision is not clear. For most people, it is not really very clear. So it's... Now, he has a question here. This is interesting. Deepak, his uh, question is, uh, uh, what about vision and mis mission statements? Aren't they goals that businesses strive for? What do we say to this? <laughs> oh, I would say oh, yes. So yes. If, if a business has got a clear vision, vision and they've got a clear mission statement, and it's alive, then that then business is trying to strive for it. But, but it's, it's, it's sometimes, sometimes very easy, very easy either in a business, in a business, I guess, or a sporting environment, environment to put up a fancy, up a mission, fancy mission, fancy vision, fancy statement, vision statement, and then just pack it in the drawer and draw, not, live, not that. live that. Exactly. So for me, so it's how you turn it into day-to-day -day work. Day work. Exactly. And what are the what values are the that are underpinning that? that? Yes. Yes. See, uh, Deepak, this is not a debate and this is certainly not a preaching ground. All right. We are not saying that one is better than the other. We are just drawing certain parallels. And as you are asking this question, I think you are the better judge. What about vision and mission statements? Well, most of the businesses, think for yourself, are they really living up to the vision and mission statements? Or are they just statements? I take a, um, I, I take umbrage against the word statement. Why do you have to state something if it is so much gone into your bloodstream? Mm, it needs to be alive. It needs to be alive. And that's where and leadership, that's where leadership, leadership comes into it. it. That's where because leadership because comes into it. Because you the values of the organization. Then you don't have to state it to anyone. Business, 
then that's when, that's when questions, questions need, to be asked. need to be asked. Exactly. Then you don't have to actually go about stating it any further because it will be so alive, it will be so visible. Are the businesses really doing this? That's the question that I think everybody should ask themselves. And yeah. I mean, yeah. if, I mean if, if, if an organization, if an organization the employees the of the organization, organization if, if you know the day-to-day you know, -day day -day vision, vision, mission doesn't get them out of bed and get them out of bed in the morning, then, then, then they need to look for a different, look different, different job. Different job. And you know, I, I will just extend this to a little bit more, more. James. Yes, if, if you will allow me, James, I would just extend this a little bit more. You just have to look at the customer service element or customer service people, the way they handle the, their jobs to understand whether a business is actually serving the vision and mission statements that they state. Think about it. Think about it. This is something very important because the customer service people are the faces of that business to you, to the customer, to the end user. One look at them, yeah. nobody goes I mean, to them. I mean, from, from, from a cricket point of view, point especially, view with MI, especially with MI, the players, the players in the face of the organization. So, so you know, it, you know, it, sort, it of sort of rings true a little, true bit, a little bit, doesn't it? True. True. So, so this is, this is, I hope we have kind of answered uh, your question, Deepak. We're getting a, um, some, some Facebook user is giving out a comment. Awesome. I think the person is not really connected with me. So they, their name is not flashing over here. But uh, I'm, I'm happy that we are discussing this because I haven't seen this being discussed in this manner many times. Yes, some of the people do discuss it. I work with a mental toughness coach very closely. His name is Steve Seabold. He is one of my mentors and he discusses it very closely. And I understand this, that from a preaching point of view, when you come across lots and lots of things can be said about vision, mission statements, leadership, teamwork, mental toughness, mental resilience and all that sort of stuff. And perhaps we have the technology uh, today to give out that content so everybody is just coming out and giving out that content. But when it comes to really boiling it down to the results, to the level of performance, very few results are to be seen. And I, one example that I gave was about the customer service executives. Look at your customer service executives. Are they simply reading a script or are they really reaching out and helping you? That is one important <laughs> element that everybody needs to uh, think about. So anyway, moving to the next uh, question. See, money is a great motivator in business and also in the business of sports. And IPL being a great business model has proven that money is a great motivator. Now, do you think money motivation helps in producing better leadership and teamwork. Now, this is a tricky question, James, because uh, not everybody looks at money in a very objective manner. Most of the people are still preaching about money to be the main evil behind the society and things like that. But without money, I don't think anything works. If you want to move from point A to point B, the biggest hurdle that most people uh, face is in terms of money. So uh, let's look at money in a very objective manner and then define the parallel relationship or rather the undercurrent that keeps um, fueling every business or every sports environment also in uh, the form of money. And tell me, do you think money really motivates better leadership, creates better teamwork? the motivation that comes with money. Uh, yeah, I'm not yeah, sure. I'm not I mean, sure. I feel mean, the IPL's normal, a normal business model, business model uh, that uh, goes around, that goes the, around world the world and attracts attention, attention like very like few other sporting events. Event. Uh, and, uh, and, and I think players, players especially, especially are, are, rewarded are rewarded for the entertainment, for the entertainment and the skills, and the skills that, they, that put on, they put on on show. On show. 
I mean, these are guys, I mean, these are guys who've been, been learning, their, learning trade, their trade, performing at the, performing highest, at the level, highest level, you know, over you know, a number, over of, years, number so of years. So, are they motivated, are they motivated by, money? by money? Well, well deep, down, deep down, money helps, money them, helps secure them secure their family. Their family. For, for the, for I, for guess the, the I guess the, the, the rest of their the career is short. Is short. You know, that, you know uh, that, uh, I don't think I you can put a value put on it. You know, is it worth, worth what they're getting paid? I mean, from my own personal perspective, I consider myself very fortunate to be involved in the IPL. But the finance has nothing to do with it from that point of view. Uh, from, uh, from, from a, from a, from a coaching, coaching point, of view, point of view for me, for me it was an opportunity, was an opportunity to step out of my out comfort, comfort zone on, to go and work go in a different, work culture, different culture where the expectations, where the expectations are different than what, what I was doing previously here, here in New Zealand, New Zealand and just to challenge just to myself. Challenge myself. Uh, uh, the financial, the financial rewards, rewards are very similar to what I would achieve here in New Zealand. So, for the players, it's very different. And some of the stories that you see. Of how the life changing has been for some of the players, the players and some of their families. families. For me, that's for me, heartwarming. That's heartwarming. Hmm. And, and, and it's a reward for all that hard work and hard work and the devices that those families and those individuals have been putting in front of themselves. So, so, so yeah, yeah, it's yeah, an interesting question. question. But I, I don't really think we're going to reflect on our group. Money's very rarely talked about. But the rewards, but the rewards are, a are a consequence of progressing, progressing to IPL level, level and performing and really, well. really well. If you don't perform, you, don't you perform, get kicked, you out, get kicked out the back door. Right, right. And then no and rewards then no come. Rewards come. Uh, uh, right. Very cyclical. Very cyclical. You, have you have to perform, perform to, to, yes. achieve, to achieve you know, the financial, financial rewards. rewards. Right. right. See, I understand what you're saying, James. Uh, we can't put money as the prime motive although it is a part of the rewards true so you can't perform with one yeah, eye yeah, on yeah, one I'm sure, sure there is a sure player, player hmm. who are highly motivated by, 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 by money, by money. Hmm. but they hmm. but they very rarely very rare open 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 like, i'm here for the money I'm here for the money hmm. <laughs> because that does that that that's the way i still like them yes but i'm sure yeah. there are sure there is players that are motivated by the money the money the reward for playing in, for the, playing IPL. in the IPL and for playing and other, for playing other forms of cricket, cricket as well. Right. I mean, we only have and to ask you cricket and some, and some of the, some of the, I guess, some, some of the scandals, the scandals that, have that have happened. Why have they Why happened? Why have they happened? Because people have been people greedy. Have been people have been greedy. Actually, yes, true. See, I would sum it this way that money uh, is a great motivator, no doubt anywhere about that. People don't do things for money. Because when they start doing things for money, then a lot of other, uh, like like you said, scandals and other things happen. Because then the greed factor comes into play, definitely. But and, and you you can't perform with one eye on the money, and yet you know that when you perform well, the money will be there. So money definitely is a great motivator. But money is the consequence of results attained, better performance attained. Then. Money is a consequence. Money comes as an end of it. But money cannot oh, be... It's a byproduct oh, of, by of the industry in which we are working. Exactly. working. Exactly. And, and certainly, certainly a large, large number, number, the majority, majority of players that I've worked, worked with, with, with take great take pride, in their, pride in their performance. Especially, especially when the team, when is, the doing team well. is doing well. Yes. And, yeah. and money is a byproduct. And same, I think, is uh, uh, the the final uh, mental balance of an organization also a business organization and, and an organization does have a mental balance whether we understand it or whether we don't understand it the congregation of the people that make up the organization the business organization it just definitely has some kind of mental orientation and this is the best mental orientation that rewards will be there in terms of money if you perform well and if your eyes are fixed on the vision and yeah it's all about, it's all about product, isn't it? I think if you just if you're totally, totally fixated, fixated on, outcome, on outcomes 
then you can then lose you can some lose things some along, things the, way along the, the way in the journey. Right. Once again, Once business again, point, business of, view point, point, of, view. point of view or a point of view. Yes. So it's all about the process, process really, really and making really sure to find detail in the Hmm. Which, allows, which you allows, keep, allows you to keep proving daily. Proving daily. You know, so how, do you, how do you reflect? At, for us, it's for us, how do you reflect at the end of each day and how do you reflect at the end of each day? I guess from, I guess a, business from a business point, point of view, it would be, it would be how do you self-reflect, how do you self 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 reflect on your daily activity? And if there is those values we talked around, around honesty and hard work, real clarity around individual role, then you'll reflect, then you'll reflect on the things on that, the you, things can do that you can do better. True. And if there's things and that you're doing, doing well, you'll, well, you'll, you'll acknowledge that. that. True. I believe. I believe. True, very true. We have a comment here from Kiran Das. Uh, she's saying, good work, Nina, keep it up. Thank you so much, Kiran. I appreciate your audience. It's just wonderful to have you here. And uh, it's, it's just so so wonderful to see that people from all over the world are actually watching this although it has not been marketed much later on once we start marketing the whole thing it will be gaining us better results and with that note which you said about values honesty leading to performance leading to the byproduct in terms of money i think we should end this show on this very high note because the same thing is true for business world as well. If the orientation gets shifted, the performance will get affected. And thank you so much, James, for being here, giving us such great nuggets of advice, wisdom, suggestions, and of course, sharing your insights. It's just great having you here. Thank you very much. Oh, it's been a pleasure. I apologize, I apologize for the echo of the back of me. Well, hopefully, well, I haven't hopefully repeated, I haven't repeated myself, myself too, often. too often. No, no, no. It was wonderful uh, having you, James. And I understand there is a little bit of lag in the internet today because of that. You must be having some uh, situation with the echo. But uh, it's still been, you know, I still love the technology because it is enabling us to do so much more sitting right from our homes. It's just, just Absolutely. fantastic. And maybe later on we can again have another conversation on the deeper effects of uh, the same same topics. It will be a pleasure yeah, to yeah, have pleasure. you again. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. I thank all the live audience also, and uh, we'll keep bringing great guests on this show. So kindly tune in.